Kimberly, I have something here that I've brought to show you. I have a binding kit that I just put together. It's not my invention, but it's something that I took a lot of elements of other sewing kits that I had seen and put it together. I have a little open pocket here for some of your favorite binding essentials. These happen to be mine. Then I have a little strawberry pocket here for your pair of scissors. There's a little felt rectangle here for your needles. And then one of my favorite features is this little thread holder. You can put your favorite Aurifil spools of thread on there, and then it just Velcros in place. It's the perfect size. It is. And then the last feature, which is one of my favorites, is this little zip compartment, and I use that to store all of my binding clips, as well as my thimble. So that way, I just noticed that when I am doing my binding and I'm taking off the binding clips, I don't really have a place to put them, and I, so I wanted a nice little zipped compartment to keep them out of the way. Now Vanessa's gonna show us how you make the zipper compartment. If you have never sewn a zipper in a project before, you're gonna love this. This is a really simple way to add a zipper. The first thing you're going to do is take your rectangles here. You're, you'll actually have four of them, but you'll just start out with two for one side of the zipper. And then you also want to have a zipper that it's, is at least nine inches or longer. And I also like to use the Elmer's washable school glue. So your first step is to bring two of these right sides together. But you'll actually do this with the zipper in between. And I have that step right here. You can see the zipper is just in between both layers. And it's aligned all along this left side. And I have glued everything in place to the zipper right here. You can use pins as well. I like the glue because you know it's gonna stay in place for sure. So the next step is you'll install your zipper foot on your sewing machine and you'll align the needle clear over to the edge. And you'll just stitch right next to the zipper all along this side. You'll flip the fabric pieces over so that they are wrong sides together. And I like to go press it. And then you can just do a top stitch right along the top over here. And then you'll repeat to do the same thing along the right side of the zipper. You'll have two more of those rectangles and um, you'll glue everything in place and just stitch right along the zipper there. And then you can bring those rectangles out, press them once again, and then you'll just top stitch on that side as well. So the next step is to make a little mark at the very top. And we're going to trim the zipper off, but first you want to make sure and bring the zipper down into the center. Then where we have marked, you'll just make sure it lines up. And you can use your Creative Grids ruler to just cut off the top right there and also along the bottom. And what you're left with is this, but the last step is to just stitch across the top and also the bottom a couple times, clear across the zipper so that if you need to pull it um, up or down, it's not going to go off over the edge. The next step is to take that finished zipper compartment and you're going to fold under the right side under one quarter of an inch, as you can see there. Then you will place it onto an interior panel. And by the way, all of this is a tutorial on my website. It's vanessagertson.com. And you'll just align everything on the left side. Then what you need to do is adjust your machine length stitch to the highest setting and just base stitch the, across the top, the left side, and the bottom just to hold that in place. Don't do anything with this right side quite yet. Next, what you'll do is you'll take your exterior panel and you'll flip it over and bring the two together, wrong sides together. And what we need to do is baste all of these layers together. So now what you'll do is you'll stitch down this right folded side just about a quarter, or maybe about an eighth inch in. And then you're going to also do the same thing just about an eighth of an inch away from the pocket right there. That way all those layers are together firmly. And then we're going to go ahead and add the binding, which is going to catch all of your raw edges in, and you're going to have this perfect binding kit. We're going to be having a sew along with this, and we cannot wait to see all of your binding kits because we know you're going to love this just as much as we do.